My name is David Smith. I'm a DP here in Los Angeles. I'm usually looking, can I put the camera low? Can I put it high? Can I put it on a small jib arm? Can I get the camera in interesting and strange places to maximize its small form factor? Having an articulating viewfinder means that I can still frame a shot and work in those awkward spots. The S1H so far has really proven itself to be a really capable shooter. I'm, I'm almost thinking of it as the Vericam Micro. The color performance, the dynamic range, I would put it up against any cinema camera that's out there. The flexibility that this large sensor gives us doing a crop, a 4K crop within the 6K image, and then I can actually follow action through the frame digitally that I would never be able to achieve manually. My name's Carissa Dorson. I'm a cinematographer based in Los Angeles. The S1H looks really beautiful, especially with the 6K full frame. The fact that this camera is so small actually has been great because we're doing gimbal work and the gimbal that we have is pretty heavy on its own. I filmed with the Vericam and I, I also own an EVA-1 and from what I can tell, it I, I can't tell the difference. The S1H is great to add to the mix if you're matching with those cameras. My name is Jacob Schwarz. I'm a filmmaker based in Pleasant Grove, Utah. For me, I've always loved full frame imagery and now I have the ability to do that in a video format that also shoots 4K, 422, 10-bit. It's just a game changer for me. We wanted to find places like here where we have a lot of very fine details that we can capture and see how the camera can handle and put up with it. Having a camera that has dual native ISO built in, 640 ISO native and 4000 native, it allows us to, in any circumstance, wherever we're shooting, capture the images we want. It's been an incredible tool for us. I'm Nick Davis, I'm a New York City DP. I love the color science of this camera. You actually have 14 and a half stops in 10-bit 422, which is very correctable. It's very gradable. Whatever the engineers did is awesome. It doesn't look like a DSLR. I want it to be super lightweight, so 50% of the shoot we used handheld in-body stabilization. I would never take a 30-pound camera 100 feet up in, a, in an oil tanker. One of the features I really like about the S1H, the weather ceiling. We shot in the rain. It was literally pouring. It's not special effects, that's all real lightning, real rain. The camera helped me reach places that I couldn't reach before.